Welcome everyone, let's talk about dynamic paint in Blender. Dynamic paint is simply great. It's a powerful tool we have in Blender in the physics section here and it makes possible to have two or more objects acting together like brush and canvas. Here we have some basic examples I made for you. Like in reality, the brush will get in contact with the canvas, altering somehow its surface. And the object can be a brush, even a particle system. Ok, I prepared this simple animation for you, not a masterpiece, but will be enough to demonstrate how dynamic paint works inside Blender. As you may have guessed, our rock, our meteor here, will be the brush and the plane will be the canvas. So let's go to Blender and see how we can use dynamic paint to displace the plane surface as our meteor crashes on it. Before we start, I prepared some shortcuts for you to learn to use Blender in a more efficient way. And here we are in Blender. I start by making the Meteor object. And to do this we have many different ways. But I won't go into modeling details during this tutorial. I used this cool technique that I've learned from Gleb Alexandrov. And I suggest you to watch his video if you want to learn how to use the Bisec tool. Now I animate my Meteor using rigid body simulation. Please let me know if you would like to watch a next tutorial regarding simulation in Blender. Then I use the Bake to Keyframe tool to translate our cached simulation into a frame by frame curve that you can see in the graph editor here. And now the funny part. We want our plane to be the canvas object. We go to the physics panel and choose dynamic paint. Canvas add canvas and here under surface type we choose the displace method we want this one because our meteor as it crashes down have to displace the surface of our plane now we want our rock here to become the brush object simply click again dynamic paint choose brush this time and add brush and now, if we play our animation, nothing happens. Why? Because we have one more last thing to do. Our canvas object, in order to be displaced, must have enough resolution. If we enter edit mode and press W, we can increase its polygon number. And we probably have to subdivide it many times. Here, more the polygons, better will be the result. Let's play again our animation to see if it now works. And yes, as you can see, our canvas object has been displaced. We can now choose smooth and try to subdivide even more our plane in order to have a more detailed displacement. Let's have some fun now and take a look to some other very cool effects that we can choose in dynamic paint. Let's try to choose waves under surface type, play the animation and we have this really nice water effect. And now we can try paint, play the animation and we have our rock that paint this default blue color on our canvas object. Here we use dynamic paint to have the effect of the card breaking on the road. In this case the card wheels was the brush, the road was the canvas and we choose paint as surface type. Hey guys, that's it for this first tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something and that my English wasn't too bad for you. Let us know what you would like to see in our next tutorials. And if you didn't do yet, 
please subscribe our channel, support us. This is Stefano Milani from sotozen.com. Ciao! Thank you.